Welcome to uh, the sequel of my previous video where I showed you um, the Compact Armada 1700 but you also saw that I had another one beside it, the 1750 and in fact I just popped in a hard drive in this baby and there's nothing on the hard drive because in fact uh, I needed the hard drive for a Mac so you know the thing is Mac formatted GPT partition on the thing now so I will have to you know kind of format it but um, I was thinking you know I already have one running Windows you know what is the use to go ahead and install Windows XP again on this one or maybe even Windows 2000 uh, in this time it's even cooler to test to see if we can do even other things with it so I thought yo I'm a big fan of Linux and I kind of learned a little bit more than I knew when I downloaded this CD and <laughs> in fact uh, a week later got a complete package of Ubuntu uh, at that time I must tell you was in another time uh, when Ubuntu was out there Ubuntu was kind of the most popular distribution out there and they were also providing the users and schools etc to get CDs completely free at that time only thing you had to do is uh, you know send them a request and they would send it to your house with stickers with everything and at the time we were at version 8 so that's in fact what I did I popped in a beautiful uh, brand new CD from years ago that I of course kept really safe in a safe environment so we can use it today in 2015 on the what is it the 29th of December and I spared you the complete boot process but I'm gonna bring you now to the laptop so you can take a look at uh, what I'm looking at and how this thing is behaving under Linux of course okay this is the deal uh, the installation of Ubuntu 8 stalled somewhere because of problems with the hard drive. The hard drive in this uh, Compact Armada 1750 was not good, was having bad sectors. So I changed it around and I tried it again, booted up the desktop, but I had no sound. Uh, one thing that I really find important, you know, if I install an operating system, that is that my sound is working, that I can play music with the thing. I don't care about network because I can fix that, but the sound must work. Eh? That's mandatory, otherwise I don't even want to look at the thing. So I went even deeper and found my 606 LTS, uh, the Dapper Drake of Ubuntu. And we're gonna jump in to an uh, installer of this thing. And I booted it for you and we're gonna look at the first screen that will come up. Okay, so we booted up Dapper Drake Ubuntu 606. And this is the first screen where we can select our language. I will of course have to go for um, English. And here I can select my country. So I will go ahead and select the Netherlands just hitting the N and here we're gonna select uh, the keyboard layout and just follow these steps it's kind of showing itself here we just gonna hit no 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 because it's showing signs that are not on the keyboard and you know um, so in fact I just hit no 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 so now we get to the next screen Alrighty then, in the next screen we just gonna hit uh, next and then it's gonna install some stuff and we're gonna have to create uh, the right partitions on the drive so it will also kind of uh, do that for us and we're gonna wait for the next window to pop up after this installer finished and it's running all smooth 
uh, normally you need a 32 megabyte to run this installer so having kind of uh, 196 megabyte ram on board is way more than enough to you know get things going uh, not saying that this uh, will all go really fast you will uh, need to take two hours for the installer maybe three it might you know be kind of slow here and there and once in a while you might fail uh, just like how I failed here I'm just gonna call this Ubuntu and uh, well just follow the steps and you will see what I'm doing here we're gonna just uh, select the complete drive to uh, install Ubuntu and you can see it's all going really smooth in fact there's not so much to it only thing you have to read and select uh, the right things to you know be performed in the installer and uh, yeah I think everyone can do this because eh? at that time in 2006 when this was created Ubuntu already kinda uh, wanted to make it easy for the people to run Linux you know especially Windows users you know that they would kinda understand and get into a desktop and not some uh, some some yeah some screen here we can insert our username and we're gonna insert our passwords and we're gonna do it one more time boop, boop, boop. so this is done and it's gonna start with the installing so we're just gonna let this go peeps and uh, yeah when this is done of course i'm gonna get back to you up here we will be asked if we need to uh, uh, use a proxy server to connect to the internet we could insert it there we don't need that so we just hit next and continue now don't panic in the next window it wants to select the settings of the server the server is the graphics desktop the 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 settings of your desktop we all know that this thing in fact is uh, having the best uh, resolution under 800 by 600 but we could also go for 1040 by 7 what was it 768 so uh, we can also select that and see uh, and hope for the best so it will install it now in the meanwhile i also want to take the time to show you a dvd and this is a very very old dvd this is the first linux dvd that i got and if you look you can see that it even has a distribution on it uh, there are linux distributions on them and this is in fact a very nice dvd i'm gonna run it one of these days to see how it was way back in i think this was 19 i think somewhere 1999 should be on the label somewhere it's still like new see that that's how i treat my cds and my dvds okie doke after a while it's kind of dark outside now I think uh, after uh, one hour of reading and installing uh, it's gonna now finish the installer by installing grub and uh, yep it's gonna finish and save all the passwords and the usernames yep that is done we're gonna continue and we're gonna restart la madame la mademoiselle we're gonna restart her now and there she goes the compact ladies and gentlemen the 1750 this is a pentium 2 with 196 megabyte ram loading uh, installed version of um, ubuntu 6.6 .6 lts but of course outdated now and won't be uh, receiving any updates 
So don't think that uh, you're gonna do this uh, and find all sorts of updates. None of that, my friend. If you want to install something, you will have to do it via the terminal. But we know how to do that now because we have friends online having all these beautiful lines for us out there that we can just copy and paste. And then the magic is happening uh, on our Linux machines. And there we are. We are in the desktop. And I'm going to log in. Let me think. What was it again? Um, oh, yeah, it was compact. 48 yep that was that was then the password so we are logging in and i just hope that we're gonna have some sound we must let the date be set automatically of course that cannot be happening because we have no internet huh? so uh, at this moment now we just simply uh, get into the desktop And the desktop is loading. Boom. And there it is. Ubuntu 6. Depper Drake installed. But no sound. Ay, 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 ay. That is very, very sad. No sound, madame and monsieur. So let's look what we can do about that. I think just as much as we could do about it in uh, Ubuntu 8. When we run Ubuntu 8, we also had no sound. But we're gonna try to fix it, and you might uh, want to help us fix it. So if you have any ideas how we can get this fixed, uh, I think the sound card in this thing was uh, one strange sound card, man. I'm gonna look it up and uh, I will put it in the description and maybe one of you can find me a driver and of course also explain how we uh, <laughs> can install that driver and I think it will be via the terminal so yeah anyway peeps this was it uh, it's very fast very stable and uh, for the lack of the sound driver it's still very fantastic beautiful work yeah so is it any good well yeah it's it's very good the thing is really fast, it's really uh, looks stable. So I'm gonna see if I can fix the sound. So if some of you can give me some help out there, I want sound to work. I'm not gonna kill the system yet. I'm gonna wait for some of you to help me out with this problem, to help me fix this sound. Of course, I will need to go on the internet. This is Ubuntu 6. 6, by the way so don't forget about that uh, sound was also not working under 8 and I think that 10 is a little bit too much for this baby 10 she will not be able to you know even though they say that it will it will not it will not this is the very best Linux for a Pentium 2 only you must get some uh, stuff like sound working otherwise I think it's no fun, although I must say the network card is installed, we can pop in a network cable, I can pop in some Wi-Fi card, it will install the drivers automatically, but then again, no sound. So help me out with the sound peeps, uh, let me know how to fix it, and uh, I'm gonna get back to you. By the way, I'm not sure if this thing has a driver search, so I'm also gonna do some things myself if I find uh, a way how to fix the sound. Of course, I'm going to make a small video of it and then you will see that, of course, in my next video again. Peeps, thanks for watching.